free to play Sir Nick. We thought it wouldn't be possible. I even called it out in a video, guys, but apparently it has been done. I have some success stories for you guys today, also some not so successful stories, and I want to go over sort of like things that can happen if you go all out and you don't get it right, but also things you can do to somewhat prepare for this. Just how long would a free to play player would need to prepare in order to actually pull this off? That is today's video. Let's jump right in. Let me start with a quick overview of my own tournament bracket. I finished with about 12,000 points. I didn't really try. I mean, I did a little bit. I was just kind of working on overall stuff. I wanted a legendary tome, but then I saw these two guys battling for first place since day one, and I did not want to compete with that as somewhat free to play because um, let's face it, I don't know if these guys have credit cards and they're willing to keep swiping that thing. So the first player finished with 44,000 points. I thought this would be out of reach, but as you'll see with these success stories, I'm going to give you guys in a second. Apparently, you can pull that off and then even some more as free to play okay so let's start with our first story we're gonna go over q core here which is a low spender i have more stories for you guys coming up 75 total dollars in euro dollars he's been playing since october sorry 2019 and then he spent about 5k gems to pull this off he finished with a whopping 63,000 points all right so even as a low spender if you hoard and you spend at the right time you can do this uh also there is a question of if you don't compete in certain tournaments for a certain amount of time is your bracket easier this might have very well been the case because the runner-up was at 33,000 points which is i'm gonna say not that much Still, it is absolutely amazing to see how he was able to pull this off. All right, so now let's go over the actual free-to-play player who got himself a Sir Nick. It is Bandimus here. Bandimus? So listen to his story, okay? So he's been free to play. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And he started playing a while ago as well, 2019. Or he's been saving since he started playing in September 2019. He rarely used his brew, so he has 1,800 total when the tournament began. He had 9.2k gems, hoarding for six to eight months. He had like 25 four-star champions at level 40, 63-star at level 30, 200 champs, two to three-star uh, in his inbox. And so for the first two days, he went for first place right away. He wanted to show his dominance and this is a great strategy but this is like going all in and it might not work you might do this a whale might wake up on the second day and be like no problemo here's my credit card boom 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 next thing you know he's taking the lead and you've wasted all those points in a sense not wasted of course you're working on food so he ended up finishing with 51,000 total points as you guys will see in a second but he only used about three k gems and half his brews to pull this off i think that's absolutely amazing again was his bracket a little bit easier we'll see in a second and listen to this this is the ultimate prize for getting this done with this champion he can build an unkillable team and finally can do auto clan boss after 15 months of doing manual i think this is insane huge congrats to this player right here bandimus for reaching 51,000 points as apparently 100% free to play. Again, was his bracket a little bit easier or did the other players just give up because he showed his dominance right in the beginning? So that's a great tip for you guys if you're willing to take that risk. Now I have one more story for you guys on the free to play side which is unfortunate because this player uh, is 100% free to play as well and he lost by a thousand points. And that hurts. That really, really hurts because he is free to play, but he's also been saving for almost two years and he kind of went all out in this. So was he not as prepared? Perhaps. Did he not have enough food saved up? Perhaps. But there's a guy that wanted it more than him. And you don't know if you're only competing against other free to play players. So perhaps this guy was just swiping the credit card. So again, this is very unfortunate, but you can get burned by this. And this is an example of this. And I mean, it's unfortunate, but like he tried really hard anyway. So like for that, I have to, you know, obviously uh, congratulate him for putting in the effort to do it. It's a very expensive jingle hunter, but at least it's still a free jingle hunter in a sense. Now I want to go over to another unfortunate store. You guys most likely heard this. This is the Saffron Man. He was going on stream yesterday for 15 hours. Yeah, over 15 hours. About 16 hours. And he really wanted Sir Nick. He crunched his account. Aside from all the champions that he does use. And he went all in. 
all in. He kept going until the end and he didn't check the leaderboard until the last, last minute. And unfortunately, he got short of what about... Man, I can barely see that. It's about 3,000 points. He lost by 3,000 points. 100,000, 102,000 points total and you still lose. This is what I mean. If you keep competing in tournaments, apparently you're put in brackets where other players compete as well. Or not, let's say that's not even the case for him. He just had a player that wanted it more than him. And somebody was willing to pay more for that Sir Nick. So this is the most expensive Jingle Hunter I have ever seen. But still, I have to congratulate the Saffron Man for trying to do this. I think it was absolutely amazing the effort that he put into this. And I think it's just unfortunately sad. So that brings me back to my original video. And I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. For one, the people that were able to get this as free to play. The ones that unfortunately did not get them. And uh, what do you, would you guys think would have been better? This approach where we would have had, sorry, fragment of the fusions that we miss throughout the year. Everybody can get a legendary. Everybody can catch up with this. Instead, it became a very expensive spending contest for some players, while others were actually able to get them because let's say their bracket was easier. So how is that fair? How is that fair for all the players? And I know Plarium works like this, but again, I want to hopefully or believe that we can improve this system in the long run. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.